FNAF 2, the new arrivals, finally has a brand new badge called the Deep Space. Exit the Deep Space, otherwise known as Mike Realm. So here is the change log. Marionette's model was redesigned, Mike Skull watching Chica watch her cupcake, and crossed out Bonnie were remodeled, Cryptic Freddy was added, uh, and that's pretty much what we're going to cover in this video. There's actually been a ton of new updates, but in this one we're just going to cover the Deep Space Badge and the animatronics that come with it. So that is Mike Skull watching Chica watch her cupcake, Crossed Out Bonnie, and Cryptic Freddy. Marionette, Endo-02, uh, the toy animatronics, the night animations, all of those we'll cover in a different video. So, without wasting time, let's go ahead and become a human, and let's get to it. Unfortunately, I don't know where this badge is, but luckily though, the creator of the game is going to help all of us find it themselves. I did try it on my own. It took me over an hour with a bunch of help from the dev. Uh, hello. Let's do it. Uh, request to join. Hey, there we go. So, you can have up to two players do this event with you. It is collecting stuff, it is a maze, and it is hiding from some evil animatronics. So, of course, first thing you want to do is grab the key card, run up to this and open it, have the key card out and scan it, and then here we go. The security doors are locked. There has to be a generator to open these. So, here we go. Truly epic, indeed. So, there are going to be a couple things around the map. There's going to be some parts on the ground highlighted white that you do want to collect. And then, there are going to be these generators. You have to run up to it and hold E. And it'll eventually restart the generator, get some lights on, and open some doors. There are three of these generators in the map. We just found number one. That should open the doors. For now. For now it will. Uh, let's go ahead, and there is no part back here, unfortunately. So, time to move on. Just looking for uh, pu pipes. There we go. They're not parts, they're pipes. Okay, sounds good. I don't know how many pipes there are, but I do know there's only three generators. Oh, there's a pipe. Pipe. Part. Let's collect it. Now, we have one out of, uh, I don't know, however many. So, we're going to keep going this way. Go under the half-closed door or the half-open door. And you do have to be careful. Those new animatronics are walking around being pretty scary while doing so. I think this area, the red and blue pizzeria area, is safe. So, we shouldn't have too much to worry about here in terms of getting eaten. We're gonna, we're gonna speed run this, alright? Sounds good. I'm down to speed run. Oh, there's another part all the way down there. It is highlighted, so uh, it is very hard to miss. We're just gonna keep running. You do have a flashlight. So, with the Watcher Chica, the flashlight makes her faster, so try not to flash it at her. Let's collect that. And then, for the Cryptic Freddy, I believe the flashlight makes him slower if you flash it at him. So you do want to do that. Nothing in there. Oh, wait. Whoops. Almost missed that. Definitely want to grab that. I almost uh, completely missed it somehow. Now we're going the correct way. You know it's the right way when you start seeing these drawings on the wall and the exit sign. The boiler room seems to be locked off. I'll need to look for the security key card. Alright. But to get that security key card, you do need all three of the generators. Here is generator two, right here. Boop. So, now we need the third generator. All right, I'm going to go around this way. I'm not trying to chase this terrifying Chica anywhere. Oh, good luck. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm at a dead end. I don't know where Chica went either. Well, hopefully me and him could meet up again somewhere. Uh-oh. Oh. He died. Oh, and there's the third one. Something just opened. And there we go. Now we have all three generators. So we should be able to just go grab the key card out of the security office. Which is all the way down here. And once you hit the dead end, you do want to go left. And then there should be an opening in between these. 
I don't even know what to call them. The goop on the wall. We're gonna go in between here in this little corridor. And then we're gonna go this way. And now there should be a smaller opening in the wall. Right here. There we go. And now straight back and to the left. And it's closed. Hey, just like that. The door is open. We did it. And now we're gonna grab this security key card off of the table. And now with this, we could get into the exit door, which is now over this way, I believe. I think it would be a lot easier if we just reset, uh, which is kind of what I want to do, but I think he's going to lead us out of here the real way. So I'm going to follow him. Uh, don't worry, that will be fixed by the time you guys play it. I'm positive. Oh boy, we do not want this. Hey, and finally, we're back here at the exit door with the security card. I'm just going to go ahead and swipe it right here on the door. There we go. What is this? That was the last pipe. We did it. We got all the pipes. There we go. Very nice. Oh, hi, Mike. Okay, very terrifying drawings. Turning off those valves might do something. Oh! Where did he come from? I didn't even see him. Oh! Alright, a little terrified, but luckily I know the way back. If you want to get back there, more or less faster, just run through this blue and red area, go to the left, and go around. Hug the left wall still. And we're gonna go through here. We're gonna go around here. Still hugging the left wall. Nothing crazy. And now we're gonna cut across the middle of the floor. It's all hollow. There's nothing crazy going on. We're not missing anything. What was that? Thought I heard something. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Now we're running through the center here. We're gonna run through the center here. Turn right. Go through. Go through. Uh, left and right and through here I know it is a little confusing I'm sorry I'm confused as well I do believe I got it though yes I did it and then this will dump us out right at the security door so we can hop through and just no not me too alright we're back in again so so far we do have two of them boom we have that one and let's sprint down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. All right. So, so far, so good. I don't think he saw us. Okay. Maybe he's stuck down there. That would be good. Oh, so we just follow the pipes. Now we spin that one. And now we spin that one. So there's four so far so we spun four valves oh is this gonna be a fifth one? Oh no it's not oh there's the fifth one right there i'm so scared of this thing coming behind me and killing me five and six i think the water just drained okay that's good Great. Before we go... Uh-oh. What do you mean before we go? Is this where you betray me? This is a sound cue puzzle. Okay. My sound is on. This means yes. When Bonnie makes a sound, we give him a follow-up sound to not die. Oh. Okay. That sounds easy. This is so long. This is the longest you have to go without dying. Okay. Oh, you need the security badge again. Alright. What kind of sound do we give him? Wait, I'm scared. He's over there. What kind of sound? You never said what kind of sound. No, I bet what kind of sound do we give him? I see him. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. All right. All right. 
What is that? Go, go, go! Hey! Badge rewarded. I see it blurred down there. We did it! We did it! We got the badge! Alright, so the first one we're gonna check out is Mike Skull, the monster that tainted Michael's mind turned real. Let's hit play, and here it is. Also, that calming music after seeing this terrifying skeleton monster. We have a jump scare. Very nice. Is this Jack Skeleton? This is Jack Skeleton if he was in real life. This is what he would be. And we have the encounter as well. Very nice. Look at his spine. Look at him. He's so creepy. That looks so awesome. I love the design. I love the crying lines going down his skull head as well. Very cool. And then, of course, we have Crossed Out Bonnie, an experiment that had escaped after it was partially burnt by an endoskeleton. So, let's go ahead and become this too. Oh, look at it. It looks so buff. This thing's so creepy. Look at it. What do they do to you, Bonnie? His tummy's all torn open as well. We have an encounter. And we have a jump scare. I'm so glad we didn't see the jump scare in action for this one. Because, uh, he's a little terrifying. Not gonna lie. This guy is, uh, pretty, pretty scary. He's pretty scary. Uh, so let's go ahead and reset as well. Next up is Watching Chica, an old Chica design dated from the very first Freddy's location. Sister company of Fred Bear's family diner, the spirit possessing this animatronic calls herself Ava. What in the world? What is this? Look at her hands. She has like actual bird hands. I didn't even realize. Her bib is a full on apron and she just has giant teeth. We have an office encounter. Oh, I like the little bow. The boat makes it a little less terrifying. Look at the tall chicken legs too. And the jump scare. Because, I mean, you just gotta. You just gotta have the jump scare too. I mean, why not? Cryptic Freddy. A creature created with shadow material. It's very sensitive to light and is friendly to faces like crossed out Bonnie. Here it is. It looks like the hat man. Or even like, look at it. I like its top hat. I like its terrifying smile. It looks like it just ripped its face open to smile. We have cover eyes. Oh, that's when you're shining your flashlight at it. Okay. We have an office encounter. And then we have a jump scare as well. And there you go. There is Cryptic Freddy. I love his two little pinholes for eyes. It definitely adds to the creepiness factor a thousand percent. But last but not least, the one we didn't see in the event... A strange spider-like cupcake. No one knows where it came from. It just showed up somewhere in Micrum once and never again. So let's become this as well. Oh, why? Why does it need those? It doesn't need those. Look at this thing. Why does it look like this? I, I don't like this. I don't like spiders and bugs as it is. This thing is making me just feel uncomfortable. We have a disguise as well. I don't think that's a good disguise. That already looks terrifying too. And then just to add all the spider legs just coming out of it. And they're coming out of its mouth as well, which makes it even worse. But here you go. Here's the Watcher Cupcake. I'm kind of glad I didn't have to watch this sprinting down the hallway at me during the event. But anyway, that is how you get the badge. Uh, it was pretty complicated, so thank you to the developer for helping me out. I appreciate it. And shout out to everybody who worked on the event and the animatronics. You guys absolutely outdone yourselves. It's amazing. It's super fun. There's so much detail and everything going into it. And it's probably my favorite event of the year so far in any Roblox FNAF game. So very good job. I don't know what else to say. Let me know which one of these animatronics are your favorite. Let me know if you got the badge in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Make sure you start code GALANTS whenever you're buying Robux or Premium. And that's it. I will see you in the next video whenever that is. Until then, bye.